Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mark over at the String Shark, and today we got a little unboxing video. So we're on our way down to the office right now. I'll tap him when we get there. About to head inside and show you what we got to unbox. Don't think about it. We'll be needing this. Here she is. Shout out Josh from Clutch Fanatics. We're gonna have to save this one for another video. And armor mesh. This one. All the way from the Czech Republic. All right guys. Well, I've been holding out on this box for quite some time now. This thing practically flew home from Italy with me. Now it's time that we crack into this bad boy and see what we got. Now you might've seen a few videos. I've already kind of talked about this product a little bit. I've made a few posts about this product and I had a lot of questions regarding the legitimacy of it. A few people thought it was a knockoff. They thought that they stole another company's idea. I'll tell you exactly how that went in a little bit. But for now, oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, let me get you guys up here. Sheesh. What's this one? Limited edition? All right guys, as you can see, I got about a dozen heads here. A few of you might be familiar with this face shape, this design, everything about this, but I'm gonna tell you right now what exactly happened to this model and why it's still in the market right now. Now, as some of you may know, this past year, I was fortunate enough to attend school over in Europe. Now, while I was over there, the European Lacrosse Cup was happening in Poland. So I volunteered my time, flew out there and helped out for a week. So while I was there, I saw this guy walk around with this blue head and a few other white ones hanging from his bag. And I had to ask him about it. So I went up to him, like, hey man, I've seen this mold before. Like, how'd you get this? I haven't seen it in a few years. After a little bit of a conversation, he told me that he was manufacturing them in the Czech Republic. Turns out, he and a friend were able to purchase this mold from the previous company and then they brought it out to the Czech Republic and now they're manufacturing lacrosse sets in Europe. I have a few words from the CTO and the CEO, AKA the good guys, Brian and Peter. They managed to message me and tell me a little bit more about their company and how things went down legally. Quote unquote, the design of the head and the actual injection mold was purchased for a fair price from traditional lax company with all intellectual property. To repurpose unused equipment for good cause of growing the game, we love the origin of our product, but are not grinding it on social media purely from respect. Then he sent me a little blueprint of the head and the model, and then a picture of Peter in the stew, cracking out some heads, showing us the behind the scenes. I really appreciate that, Peter and Brian, for taking the time to send me over these heads, making the sport more affordable and more accessible in Europe. We got a European company out here in the US. You definitely don't see that often. I respect the grind like no other. You guys are crushing it. I can't wait to string these bad boys up. I'm definitely gonna dye a few of them, see how they take dye. I also had a few requests to do a stringing tutorial for these. I'm gonna string one of these bad boys up, keep it super simple so that you guys out there in Europe or out here at home in the US to follow along and string one of these bad boys up if you get the opportunity to pick one up. I'll have the tutorial ready to go, hopefully soon. Bear with me. Huge shout out to Brian and Peter for sending this on over and continuing to grow the game. We can't thank you guys enough. But thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content and be ready for the next video.